This is Brickhead Boy. I got my package from AliExpress, and this is in a box. So you can see the packaging is kind of all banged up, and here's the contents. Tells the story of the military to protect the world, showing the brave and fearless spirit of justice. Super Legion. And here's the banged up box by Lange. Set number 3661, Armor Vehicle, 384 pieces. Here's the bottom. And the back of the box. So let's open it up. So, five bags, instruction book, let's build it. And here is a set complete. Here is your vehicle, two minifigs, instruction book, and your leftover piece. So there are no brick separators or accessories whatsoever. And it's kind of bad because back of the box, it shows him with a handgun. Unfortunately, there are no weapons. So let's go on to the instruction book. Um, it's a little bit more complicated because a lot of steps you'll have to go through and see what you're missing even though that shows you the pieces there's parts that are uh, for example right here step two step three you see that so it doesn't it doesn't show any sub assemblies and a lot of the pieces um, are all the same color so digging through this took some time there is your inventory of pieces though on the back and going on to the minifigs they are the same ones as the previous set I did so these are identical and just a reference let's look at the other vehicle with this one so here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the tank and side view so I really did like the tank from the last one so let's see if this holds the candle to this tank. So here's your 360 view. The only printed piece are those 36s, and that's it. Here's the back. So apparently, looks like the engine is back here. And this is really nice. This opens, and so does the other side. Flaps open on the front as well. And full access, you can open this up. Even the top hatches go, but problem is, is you have to squeeze your finger in there. And of course, the little turret can rotate once these are down. You cannot elevate this, but this can go full, and that broke. Full motion. And clever technique of a lever being used on that. So aside from that, let's close this. I like how it matches up with the sides. It looks pretty cool. And that rolls pretty smoothly. Put your minifigs on. So this is the way I would do it. But if you want to put them inside, then that's a different story. Because this thing has... Two major flaws. First off, you can't rotate this back, but uh, to put the minifigs in, you have to crack the top all the way open, and it's not easy to do to put it back together, and I'll explain in a second. And yeah, the uh, play features are lacking in this one because it's going to be tedious to take out the roof. But anyways, as I was saying, let's go back. Um, Back to building this, it was a little bit frustrating because I missed a lot of steps and things weren't too clear in the instruction. You have to go through very carefully to not miss anything. And this thing has a very bad construction, I'd say 
internal construction is really bad because as you're building it, I'm only going to do this once and after I do this I'm going to reinforce the inside but you just press on here and that whole part comes down and to fix it you have to take off the whole top again and it's just so tedious so building this took about 15 minutes to uh, keep putting it back and I'm going to use some Lego pieces to fill that inside so that doesn't happen and then after that I'll put the mini figs inside and probably leave one inside and leave one outside so let's do that so here's the internal piece I added um, with Lego and your mini figs you actually can fit two in the front because of the jumper cables but hopefully that'll hold and I will take one out so you just need a driver so this is what the roof looks like and you're supposed to just throw it on there let's do it so it's on and it helps a lot unfortunately the front here there's nothing supporting that piece so I'll just have to leave it as is there you have a driver let's close these up and look at the details a little bit more so you have a light here and you have these things not sure what those are close that up so let's include this review so I understand that the designer or designers were trying to make this more realistic yes it looks really good but unfortunately like I said the play features are lacking and the construction really bites on this one so not that good and while building it like I mentioned too um, some pieces were falling apart so overall once it's built it's pretty solid it's just that top part you need to reinforce so is this set worth it well I got it for about sixteen dollars with the box without the box would be probably fifteen so it's I'd say still worth it if you construct the interior um, give it more stability so that's what I have to say this is Brickhead Boy thanks for watching